Now let's take a look at using the combinations rule. It says, in a small private school, six students are randomly selected from 11 available students. What is the probability that they are the six youngest students? Okay, so we have 11 available students to choose from, and we're choosing six, uh, six students from the 11. Okay, now it's asking what is the probability that they are the six youngest? Well, for this problem, it doesn't matter which order you choose the students in. You're still going to have the same six students. So order does not matter here. So that's why this distinguishes this problem as a combinations rule instead of a permutations rule. So now this is something that we could compute in StackCrunch. So let me go ahead and open up StackCrunch. Let's do a side-by-side -side view. StackCrunch, go there it is. Okay, so now in StackCrunch, you're gonna to go to data, then to compute, and then click on expression. So now the expression you're gonna put in, you're gonna put COMB, for combinations, put a parenthesis. Next, you put the number of available students you have, put a comma, and then the number of students you're choosing. Click on compute, and this will tell us the number of ways that we could choose six students out of 11 available. So there's 462 ways we could choose six students out of 11 students. Now the probability that we select the six youngest students, it would be, so that could only happen one way, that would be one divided by 462, and we should get this correct. Oops. Just make this bigger, okay, there it goes. Perfect. 